All right, guys. So this is a uh, tutorial for Sony Vegas Pro 15. Um, I I was having this problem for a while, and then I finally found a fix for it. Um, <clears throat> so if a lot of times, if you pop a video into Sony Vegas, I don't know. I, I I'm gonna have to see if it works with uh, the footage I got. Um, but a lot of times, Vegas Pro. I don't know if it was just 15 or if it was a previous one. But 15 was the only one that's done it to me. So, real quick, if you want to download Sony Vegas, I'll leave a link to Sony Vegas' site in the description. Five, 500 bucks, but I'm sure you guys can find it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I got a video here that I'm going to plop in if it ever... There you go. And once you plop it in, there are only th three tracks that I have recorded so apparently uh, that footage don't work because I recorded that with DX story so I'm guessing DX story is pretty good about that so give me a second okay <laughs> um, so I had a record a different clip so I'm gonna test it with this yep that works so Apparently for me, it's only when I record with uh, OBS. So, if you actually look at my OBS, it's going to look a little weird. But I have three audio tracks. Um, that's also because I use a virtual audio cable called Voice Meter. So this is what I use. Um, one's the uh, system sounds, games, all that stuff. And the other is people that I'm chatting with. So I got three three tracks, and there are seven. No, there's. Um, well, I can't even math. There are eight tracks here, and before I knew a fix for this, I would actually try to figure out which ones would do what. Um. So like all of them are blank because I didn't talk at all. Uh, so. This is going to be a video of me showing you how to fix that. And it's going to be a short video because there's not that many steps to it. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to options. Go all the way down to preferences. Hold shift on your keyboard and left click. Um, and the reason you do that is because then you can get this uh, tab called internal. Go to internal. And then you can do a search. You can type in S O four. Um, and then the middle option should say enable S O four compound reader for AVC slash M two uh M two T S. If it's untrue, double click it, change it to false, apply. And then this is going to pop up. This is basically just saying that you need to reboot Sony Vegas in order for it to take effect. Click OK. Then you can exit out of Sony Vegas and then reboot it. Once it's rebooted, put in the same file. And there you go. Um, now, you may be saying, you know, you said you got three tracks. Why are there four? Because on OBS, for some reason, you have to have every track on the first one, and then you can do separate tracks. So, really, I do have three tracks. It's just the first one has everything in it. So, the first one you can just delete. Um, so, that's how you fix it. And this is just me uh, scrolling through Newegg. Um, but yeah, so, again, if you, if you missed it, go to options, preference, well, hold shift while you do it, internal, type in SO4, change that to false, click apply OK, and then that will be fixed. Now, I made this video because I was having this problem for a long time, and I didn't know how to fix it, so I looked it up, I got it fixed, um, and actually, every forum that I was reading uh, a lot of people were having the same issue my friend was actually having the same issue that's actually 
how I decided to make the video. Well, I was planning on it for a while, and then he kind of reminded me. Because he uh, needed to know how. So, yeah. That's that. Uh, that's it. So, if you guys uh, have any other ideas on what kind of tutorials that you want me to do, um, let me know down in the description. And if you've got any other questions, leave them down there too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a rate, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.